Cutty from Cutty TV in the building, you already know what the f going on. Niggas talking top 10, top 20, top 5. Nigga, you not even top 5. Let me show you what top 5 really is. Niggas want this crown, come and get it. Know that in the f***ing building. Cutty TV, let's go. I got everything. We on everything. Jersey, we on. All right, you guys, we're back at it again. Another episode, episode four. We're going to be talking about the best places to do Uber Eats. So if you're new and for some reason you didn't watch the first three episodes, you're missing out on a lot of valuable information if you're going to be doing Uber Eats. So go back, watch the first three. I'll probably line them up right here. Go watch the first three and then come back and watch this one. But let's get started with the episode. Best places to do Uber Eats. All right, y'all, we are back at it again to start this beautiful episode off. We got a double order. Bridget B, the second half of this order right here, pick up. But let's get started with the episode. All right, you guys, so we're here. It's episode four. I have so, so much good exclusive content for you guys to see at the end of the video. If you've been enjoying it, then I got better... Uh, content for you to watch basically so let's talk about the reason why you're here though you're here to know the best places to do uber eats so i'm going to be giving you guys my tips and tricks on the best places to get the maximum uh the maximum amount of money and just to keep those orders flowing in so let's start at the top the places not to be we're going to start there so if you're doing uber eats um, you don't want to be in an area that's all white. If you're in an area that's all white and there's no gray and there's no little check mark that says there's a lot of orders around, that's not the area to be in. Um, if you've watched my past episode, I tell you about how I spent 45 minutes in a, in a white area and did not receive one order. So the white areas are very, very real. You will not be getting any orders sitting in those areas. So don't think well, you know, I don't want to drive too far away from my home because, again, you can live in a rural area and the rural areas are mostly white. You're going to have to drive to the city. I mean, you're doing Uber Eats. You're not. This is not a let me just walk outside and deliver to my neighbor, John, because he's going to order something today. Most places in white areas have no orders. So remember this. Do not waste your time being inside of a white area if you plan on doing Uber Eats. Um, a second place, obviously rural areas. I know it sounds like white areas, but it's actually different. You can be in a city and be in a white area. Um, you don't want to be in like a rural area, places that don't have a lot of restaurants around them, uh, places that are just far from everything. Those are going to be the, those are going to be the places that are going to give you a hard time when receiving orders. I mean, you're just going to be sitting there because you're like in a place where everybody has a car and everybody knows that you have to have a car to travel around here. So rural areas are very, very bad. So uh, those are two places for you to know. White areas, no matter, depending on where you are, whether you're in a city or in a rural area, avoid it. And then rural areas, you don't wanna sit in rural areas for too long, places that have a lot of land, places that don't have any stores around them. You don't wanna sit in those areas for too long because you're not gonna make any money. So. Let's talk about the best places to be if you're doing Uber Eats. That's obviously the reason why you're here to figure out the tips and tricks on where you need to be at. Uh, the number one prime area on where you need to be at is inside of a hot zone. If you watch my last episode two, not my last episode, but episode two, you learn all about hot zones. You wanna be inside of a hot zone. If you don't have an order, I'd much rather wait inside of a hot zone than wait outside of a hot zone because the order is most likely going to come. So you want to catch these orders as they're coming in. Hot zones is the number one place you want to uh, just be, you know, hanging around at. You know, if you're not getting an order and orders aren't coming in, stay within that hot zone and I guarantee something's going to come. So do not miss out. Even if a hot zone is, you know, uh, in SoCal, a hot zone could be like 35 minutes away take that 35 minute drive versus waiting 35 minutes for no orders to come in so a second place on best places to be at you want to be around shopping centers you want to be around mcdonald's you want to be around starbucks you want to be around burger king you want to be around places that do delivery orders because most likely 
within at least a 15 minute span, one delivery order is gonna come in if you're sitting next to a place that does deliveries. So definitely sitting next to delivery places, sitting in shopping centers, sitting in just places that have a lot of stores in it, you're most likely going to get a order faster because even if you have zero orders, Standing next to a McDonald's is going to guarantee that you'll get an order faster than sitting in the middle of nowhere waiting for your Uber Eats thing to click off. So keep that in mind. Um, the closer that you are to restaurants, the more likely you are to be receiving orders and to get orders fast as hell. So one, you wanna stay inside of hot zones. Two, you wanna stay next to restaurants, shopping centers, um, you know, fast food places, anywhere that you know delivers. Um, the third place that you really want to stay by is malls. You want to stay next to malls. I know shopping centers, you may think that it's the same thing, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about an actual mall because you might not get food orders, but you'll get package orders. So, um, places like Sephora, they do delivery places like Apple. They do high deliveries. If you can get an Apple order, boy, you're going to be one happy person. Um, places like, what's, what's another place I've picked up from? Um, a lot of makeup places, they do delivery. So shopping malls are the third best thing to be sitting around because, you know, especially around the holiday season right now, people are ordering gifts and things of that nature. It's always somebody's birthday every single day. So there's guaranteed going to be an order coming from the mall that you can pick up and you can drop off. So definitely those three top places I will give y'all. So one, always, in hot of a, always inside of a hot zone. Do not miss out on them hot zones. Two, you need to stay around restaurants, fast food, fast food places, and shopping centers. Shopping malls and shopping centers are two different things. Make sure you learn the definition of, of them both. And then the third one, malls. You want to stay around malls because you can get those big package orders. Mall orders are always... 18 20 21 dollar orders so big big orders sitting next to the mall and it's rather simple it's not like you're carrying around three drinks or a bunch of bags you know i've dropped off if you've seen in my last episode i had a macbook i literally had a charger that goes inside of a macbook and then i literally had a converter that helps you convert from usdc to usb and that was a $38 order or like a $20 order. It's one of them. It was either 38 or 20. But what I'm saying is that's nothing. Like I could fit all of that in one bag. So definitely make sure you're staying in tune for those places. If you want to get more orders in when you're doing Uber Eats, those are the three top places that if you hang out in, you're eventually going to get an order guaranteed. There's no way that you don't get one. So if I could give you guys an exclusive and exclusive tip, what would I say? What would I say to really get you the best orders? Because um, I've been doing this. I've been doing this for a while now to give you guys the best advice. So the best advice that I have is stay next to an Apple store. Honestly, I'm not even going to lie to you. Apple stores have been my biggest orders. I'm talking about my highest order to date was $38.88 and it came from an Apple store. So Imagine getting one of those and then doing three of those within two hours. That's almost $100 right there. So, no, that's more than $100. That's $115 right there. A little bit more, maybe $116. So, I would say if you have an Apple store na near you and you're not getting no orders in, go next to that Apple store. You're guaranteed to get an order. Guaranteed. Wow, every time I go next to the Apple store, I love it when that thing goes off. So, those are the best places to be at. I've given you places not to be at. Now, if you are still in those areas after you're done watching this video and you're not getting any orders, then you didn't listen to me, my friend. Because I gave you three options on where to go, how to keep your orders consistent, and how to keep that money inside of your pocket. So, that's all I got for you guys today. I actually want you guys to stay tuned for the exclusive content that I have for you guys. Um, I literally got lost again. And then some good things to watch in there. We got some nice houses that we came across and some nice apartment buildings. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, episode five is on the way. The cons of Uber Eats. I've been waiting to do this episode with you guys for the longest. 
I can't wait to tell you guys just some things that I've experienced that I just don't like. So as you can see, we're moving forward towards that every episode that we get to. So make sure you stay tuned for episode five. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and of course, share to a friend so that a friend can learn all about Uber Eats and make the most money. So this Uber Eats series is to teach you all about how to make the maximum amount of profit when you're doing Uber Eats. So if you follow all of these tips and tricks, you're guaranteed to have a great day and great days moving forward. So stay tuned for the exclusive content, man. I can't wait to see you guys in episode five. All right, you guys, we got the first of the order of the double order from the beginning of the episode. Let's drop this bad boy off. All right, you guys, so the first person is at the door, but we got Bridget ready to finish this double order. Let's get it. Over each order. Oh, and then you get to see things like this. Let's go, we're dropping off. All right, you guys, we're in Beverly Hills again. Got the order. Now let's see if I can show you guys the house. All right, you guys, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you because I am going into a regular building, like office building, but we're on Rodeo Drive. So I wanna show you guys Rodeo Drive. Get a little glimpse as we drop off this order. Rodeo Drive, I love it. So this is where I'm going. The Rodeo Collection. Okay, this John look nice. Now let's find our order drop off. How are you? Are the drop off? Thank you. Okay. Alrighty, enjoy. Have a good one. Alright. Alright, y'all. So I managed to get oh look at that. Is that a Rolls Royce right there? Damn, okay. Oh no. That's a Bentley right there. But anyway, I was able to get that order, show y'all that. Cause that was like a they was gonna pick it up at the door, so I figured I'd show y'all. But we got another order, seventeen dollar order, one order. Wow. On our way to drop off. All right, you guys, we're in a new part of California right now. We're in Brentwood, and we got another order. The last order, the guy picked it up, and he was too close to the phone for me to record, but we got another order. New location, new order, same Uber Eats. Let's go. Alright you guys, we're here with the two orders. Not a double order, but this person just got a lot of stuff. And we're here at the drop off. Let's get it. Alright you guys, we're back at it again in Beverly Hills. I got this nice ass order right here. Welcome to this nice ass house. All right, you guys, we have made it to the end. We're at the Palazzo. Let's go drop off this order. It's me, that door, so this is the end of the episode. I'll see you guys on the next one.